not as good and as convenient as Netflix. Now we're on uh, Taylor Road going westbound and at this light is the intersection that it, I call dangerous. Now if you notice looking straight ahead it is impossible to see a car coming by here at 50 miles an hour in that in that straight lane. Here comes one I can see. But in other times, boy, I tell you, it is dangerous. So the city has asked, uh, I guess the county and state DOT, I guess the county, to see about uh, getting better traffic control at this intersection. A lot of times, uh, the green light is for all of us. This is the way it should be, a green, a green left turn signal, and everybody else has to stop. As much as I'd like to make a U-turn here, I got somebody up my <laughs> rear end. Okay. Too many impatient people here in the summer trees. I don't know. We're in the, the entrance to Summit Trees community. I want to go over to the intersection and get out of the car and give you a better look of uh, what's going on here. AT&T. Fooey on them too. Hey, <laughs> fooey on everybody. Uh, what are you gonna do when you get older? So let's take a look at this intersection here. And uh, we're looking uh, northbound. If you go through the red light, you'll go up to the pavilion and South Williamson Boulevard. And uh, you see the way this traffic is opposing coming to us? Well, there's one lane where you could go straight and come right over here into the entrance into Summit Trees. My neighbor, Bob, went that way one night. It was dark at 7 p.m. He had the green light. And he came across and a vehicle going eastbound from that direction clobbered him, went right through the red light and demolished his car. Over here, they're building, I've been told, I think there's a sign, a PNC bank. And that's really good, because here in Port Orange, we have way too many churches and pizza pies. I, I think PNC is now one of my banks. I, I can't keep up with them. They change their names every six months. I really don't know what the hell bank I'm associated with. Okay, let's start right here at the intersection. There is the eastbound traffic coming. And if you can see the intersection there, there's a... Suddenly a, a right-hand turn lane. A middle lane. Look at this car coming over to this lane. Did you see that? Uh, there is the uh, problem. Because right here it starts to be two lanes. While down there, up at the, here, it, here he comes. See me coming over? Uh, they want to get in that right hand lane. Uh, for whatever reason, maybe for I-95. But, the people coming out of some of the trees and I imagine the elderly people, but I guess not. Come here to make a right-hand turn. On red, on green, it's okay. And they look down there when traffic is moving and they see no problem. There may be a vehicle in the middle lane. So they pull out here. Not knowing that somebody coming down here has 
50 or 55 miles an hour suddenly comes into their right hand lane and boom just about where that white car is we got a rear end collision that's what I think is being is going on here Here he comes, over this way. So if you're making a right-hand turn on red and you had expected that the vehicle was going to remain in the middle lane, you may become sorrowly mistaken. Now it appears to me that that left-hand turn lane over there, I can't see through my viewfinder. And this left-hand turn over here are almost opposite each other. And when you make this left-hand turn, believe you me, you can't see what's down behind there in the in that middle lane coming down here. Okay, so what else we got? I can smell the greasy food, but it smells good from Wendy's. In fact, I think I'm going to get one of their chicken sandwiches. I like their chicken sandwiches. Cold is right over there. I, really, I shouldn't say this, but I've been living here since 1994. And I've come out of summer trees when there was no traffic light. It, it was safer, to tell you the truth. I expected to have a real bad accident for someone, but uh, there wasn't. But now we... We apparently have quite a few. I think if you look down here, you'll see it. these are markings, I think, of uh, accidents. Uh, Betty, our neighbor, was sent to a hospital with serious injuries as a result of an accident at this intersection. And she died, I believe, of complications while in the hospital from her injuries. Now, I hate to say this, but no, I don't hate to say it. I have found that the people coming eastbound here, maybe from the fly-in and a quiet place in the country. Whoa, whoa, yeah, come over here. Go, go. Zoom right through. That's the way. That's right. You make your right-hand turns, but you watch out for a car coming over that way. They're coming down here. They've been impatient. I've seen them since 1994. The woman that came through this red light and hit Bob at the intersection, she was going to Publix and just wasn't thinking. These people are going to straight ahead to shopping in Port Orange and and perhaps Publix at Westport. Uh, they could, they're driving nicely today, but during weekdays, yeah, you look 